what's up guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be doing i uh, got a leveling kit i'm gonna be unboxing it reviewing it and sh i've been looking on youtube and i haven't really seen any good videos on how to do this in a driveway with your basic tools uh, i don't got no fancy lip and um i mean i do a lot of my maintenance on my truck so i've got some tools and stuff but just your bare minimum all right guys let's get this thing unboxed and see what it comes with So, we got some stickers, I guess, when it was done. Of course, your instruction manual. And here are the keys. A nice, heavy duty. Uh, oh, this is your little fancy, fancy uh, sticker that you can put on your back window. It says Rough Country. You got your blocks that go in the rear. And. bolts your u-bolts that go down so you can tighten them up got your hardware this, this goes to the shocks because there's the uh there's the rubber grommet and then these and then you put the bolt down and tighten it up so and those look like your new bolts yep those are your bolts and washers for your u-bolts and it comes with four shocks. I've had this kit on a work truck and uh, I got it with like 150,000 miles on it and I drove that truck till it had about 300,000 miles on it. And um, I did clean outs, clean up foreclosures and stuff. So we're pulling trailers and hauling tra crap to the dump 24 seven and it held up the entire times. I had no complaints about it. So that's why I got this, this kit for this truck. Real quick, this is what the re recommended tools. I went ahead and printed this out, it's a lot easier. Guys, just to show you the difference in the keys. important thing your kit won't work without this um it'll actually just all fall apart and that is make sure you put the stickers on the shocks that is the most important i mean you're, you're just wasting your time if you don't do that then the whole kit is incomplete <laughs> all right real quick guys i'm just going to go over what i uh what i replaced in this kit so the two rear shocks the two torsion keys the two front shocks the rear blocks and the rear ear bolts and nuts but uh do you guys notice anything different about this shock <laughs> check this out this is my front shock <laughs> so i probably had about a couple hundred miles left out of that one but let's check this one out see the size difference here I think it's seized. It won't even come out. I wonder, uh, my truck is riding like shit, boy. Here's the rear shot test. Do These actually don't feel too bad, man. All right, okay. He's still coming up a little bit. There you go. Now this one. 
Dude, I'm telling you, this thing is bent. I mean, it, that is not going down. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Yeah, it, and then like, you can see, you know, I would notice that, like, hold on, let me see if I can get the angle of that thing. I don't know if you guys can tell from the cameraman, but this thing is bent. I mean, look at that. The hump. Yeah. But yeah, so basically this side of my truck, because I made sure I kind of kept everything on the same side, and I just brought it from the driveway over here. Yeah, you passenger, uh, that's why my passengers always complain, man, your truck ride like shit. See, I'm over here with the good stuff. They're over here with the stuck shock and the shock that's all the way down. <laughs> that's nuts. But yeah. So that's it. I'm gonna take this thing for a test drive. All right. So that's stock in the rear, right there. All right, guys. So that's where we're at after the kit is installed in the rear. And uh, the size tires that I'm running, these are actually stock ta Tahoe rims. So this is uh, 265 70R 17s to drive around for a while for this thing to settle down but that's where we're sitting at in the front with the kit and this is when you first put it down you know you haven't really drove it around it much at all so there you go after everything's settled so there you go all right guys so that's afterwards um, it's been about three months. It's starting to rain here, so I gotta hurry up. But yeah, um, I mean, it picked it up a little bit. I also added the fender, fender flares, uh, kind of give it that protection. And plus, I had a little bit of rust going on there. But so far, so good. I've had this kit um, on a truck already, so I already know it's gonna hold up. But um, I've driven about uh, 10,000 miles and it's doing pretty good and i didn't adjust anything um you're, you may have to adjust but like i said um it's gonna look crazy up front here it's gonna be really tall but drive around for a little bit and let it settle before you do any kind of adjustments